Greetings and salutations, mortals. Tis I, Nasvano here, and welcome to part 10 of What If Naruto Was Half Uchiha. Just wanted to greet you guys by saying sit back and relax. You're in for a treat. And so we begin. The next day soon came to be. All the Ginnon who passed the first test now grouped up in front of the Forest of Death. The woodlands were enclosed by fences, and many warning signs surrounded the place. Are you ready for this, Naruto? Sasuke asked. As he cracked his neck, his eyes were constantly scanning the area, seeing as all Ginnon here are now enemies. Depends. Will I be able to let loose? Naruto said with a smile, causing Sasuke to smile as well. There are enough punching dummies here. Let's see who can defeat the most enemies. <laughs> the loser has to buy the winner whatever they want. Huh. Deal. Naruto and Sasuke were about to run to the forest, but both received a quick slap from Sakura. We don't even know what the test is, and here you are running in already, like idiots. <laughs> Sorry. Both said simultaneously as they rubbed their heads. Suddenly, a kunai went flying towards the group. Naruto and Sasuke simply dodged the projectile, while Sakura caught the thing easily. Oh, seems as though you three are focusing, Anko said before turning to the rest of the Ginnon. Welcome to the second part of the Ginnon exams. This is a survival test, which will last one week. The woman quickly pulled out two different scrolls. Each team gets one scroll. That can be either an earth scroll or a heaven scroll. To pass the test, you will need to get the opposite scroll you possess. You need both scrolls to pass. When you have both scrolls, then head to the tower in the middle of the forest. It is a safe zone, which means you pass. There is one rule in this exam. Never open the scroll. With those words, all the Ginnons set off to their own gates, which surrounded the forest. I'll go up ahead. You two should stay behind. Once I discover a team, I'll come back and let you know. Naruto said in a serious tone as he took out one of his strange kunai. This time, it had a scroll wrapped around its hilt. All right, just don't try anything stupid. Sasuke scolded when a large siren went off. The gates of the forest launched open. Yeah, yeah, Naruto said as he started spinning his kunai around his finger before flinging it as far as possible into the forest. See you around, the boy said before suddenly disappearing. A large shockwave exploded through the forest with the sound of thunder deafening nearly half the woodlands. <sighs> Show off, Sasuke growled. Let's get going. We don't know if he'll run into someone soon. Sakura said, launching off, only to trip on a small pebble, face planting squarely into the dirt. <coughs> Maybe focus instead of trying to act cool. Sasuke quickly straddled the girl over his shoulder before rushing into the forest. Hey, I can run on my own, you know! Sakura shouted, slamming her fist into Sasuke's back. True, but you're too slow. Sakura pouted, but knew there was no fighting this. Just as the two decided to slow down a bit, another shockwave rippled through the area. Ugh. I knew that idiot would try to fight on his own. Sasuke quickly dropped Sakura, causing the girl to land face first on the ground. Again. <coughs> Sorry, but you're dead weight, Sasuke said coldly before he exploded forward with intense speed. Wow, Sakura just can't get a break now, can't she? Anyway, while Sasuke was attempting to catch up, Naruto was busy fighting something devious. Where did this ugly thing come from? Naruto shouted as he dodged another incoming attack. In front of him was a gigantic snake, which had enough power to uproot a tree in a single swipe. Fire style! Great fireball jutsu! The boy shouted as he blew a massive ball of hellfire towards the snake. The creature writhed in agony as the fire singed its eyes. Now! Lightning stop! Naruto was suddenly caught off guard as the shuriken flew past his face, narrowly missing. Not so fast, little boy. Naruto quickly looked over to see a woman standing there alone. The aura around her was odd, and Naruto didn't remember seeing her at the first exam. Buzz off, would you? Can't you see I'm busy here? Naruto growled, his eyes constantly monitoring both the woman and the massive snake. But that would ruin all our fun. Let's play a bit. The woman suddenly vanished from Naruto's gaze. Where, where did she go? Naruto wondered when he suddenly felt a strong punch striking him in the back. The bull went flying into a nearby tree. Seems like you can take a hit. The woman smiled as Naruto coughed up some blood as he landed. Cheap shot! I dare you to try it! Naruto was caught off guard when the snake suddenly swept his tail, fleeing the boy back to the woman. Midair, the devious woman caught Naruto by his neck. My, my, you seem like a fun toy. Her voice was almost seductive as she licked her lips. Her tongue was long and serpent-like, making Naruto cringe at the mere sight of it. You haven't won yet! Naruto choked out. 
allowing the string gun to become blazing alive. The woman instinctively threw Naruto back, knowing well what kinds of genjutsu can be created with those wicked eyes. <laughs> You're smart too. Maybe I should leave you a gift. The woman's head went flying towards Naruto, her neck stretching out like a snake. Not so fast, Sasuke's voice rang out as a gigantic fire dragon went soaring towards the woman. She quickly withdrew her neck in order to dodge the attack. Well, two on two. I guess this is fair, the woman said with an annoyed smile. You're bad at counting. It's three on one, Sakura shouted before the ringing sound of a blade echoed through the area. Nothing happened for a second, when suddenly the sound of blood spewing out sung across the area. The snake's head slowly glided off landing onto the ground with a thud. The three ninjas were standing there in silence as the snake's bodies writhed around for a couple of seconds before dying down. <laughs> Color me impressed. I didn't expect this from a couple of ginnin. The woman was suddenly caught off guard as Sakura landed in front of her, her blade narrowly missing the woman. She easily jumped back in order to dodge this. Sasuke, let's go all out. Sakura, try and cover us whatever you can. Don't let your guard down. I don't know if she has teammates with her. Naruto commanded before he suddenly burst into lightning as he suddenly appeared in front of the woman. Idiot, let me scold you first, Sasuke shouted as he launched forward while hastily forming hand signs. Fire style, flame bastion jutsu. Sasuke announced as his body got engulfed in flames, boosting his speed. This time, lowering the chakra output to a more manageable degree. Oh, this is interesting. The woman said as she easily dodged Naruto's incoming punch, throwing the boy away from her. Just as Sasuke got closer, the woman launched an insanely fast kick. One so fast, even Sasuke couldn't register it. The boy went flying into a nearby tree, shattering its hardened bark layer. Damn it! I need to be faster! Naruto growled as an unnatural energy exploded out of him as a orange hue started covering the boy before he launched towards the one once again. This time, Naruto threw one of his special kunai just above her. Lightning style, Chidori! Naruto announced before he unexpectedly teleported above the woman, launching an unavoidable Chidori straight for her head. Damn brat! The woman shouted as a large explosion of lightning exuded out of Naruto's hand. The lightning blinded both Sasuke and Sakura, forcing the two to jump back just in case they'd be struck. The light definitely alerted many people around the area. Slowly, the lightning died down, leaving a large patch of scorched earth and smoke left in its wake. Naruto quickly jumped back out of the smoke, coming to a skidding stop next to Sasuke. The boy had singed clothes and some burn marks on his face. He was panting heavily, and his right hand looked burnt to a crisp. Naruto, are you okay? Sakura shouted, running towards the boy, but he quickly shot a glare towards her. Don't let your guard down! That attack didn't land properly. She's still alive. Keep your guard up! Naruto was serious as his eyes glared into the smoky area. The woman slowly walked out, but something was very strange. Her face was torn, but it wasn't flesh underneath, but rather another face. Seems like I have been found out. The woman's voice changed to a deeper one as the person slowly peeled off their skin. The entire scene was disgusting, but the Gin couldn't lose concentration. The name is Orochimaru. You deserve that information at least. Well, maybe a gift as well. The man laughed before he started regurgitating something. Are we just gonna watch or do you have a plan? Sasuke inquired, shaking up his pain, keeping it to the back of his mind. Yeah, it's time we get serious, Naruto said with a smirk. The orange aura around him got darker as waves of energy started exuding out of him. Heh, <laughs> you see that like you were just playing around. Maybe I was. It's time to go. Naruto shouted as he jumped into the air, throwing another kunai towards the man. If that's the case, fire style, flame batching jutsu, full power! Sasuke shouted, intense infernal flames encasing his body. I never thought I'd have to get serious with a ginnin, Orochimaru said, unamused, as he pulled out a sword from his throat. Taking the blade and slicing his hand open, Summoning Jutsu! The man shouted as the ground started shaking. A purple snake started breaking through the earth's crust before it lifted Orochimaru up with its head. Let's go! Sasuke instantly launched forward, heading straight for the snake while Naruto went flying above him. The boy was flying straight towards Orochimaru. 
A small explosion went off as Sasuke landed a hit on the snake, but for some reason, the creature didn't budge. Heck, there wasn't even a scratch! You two have power, yes, but your technique is lacking, Orochimaru said, emotionless, as he easily dodged Naruto's attack. The man stretched out his neck, once again making it go straight toward Naruto's. Orochimaru sunk his teeth deep into the boy, drawing blood. This is a gift from me to you. Come seek me for true skill, Orochimaru said softly, only loud enough for Naruto to hear. The boy dropped down midair. The energy around him died instantly as no more movement came from him. Naruto! Sasuke shouted, running toward the boy, only to get tail slammed back into a tree, snapping it in half by the sheer force. The sounds of bone snapping could be heard as Sasuke clapped onto the ground. You have power as well. Just very cocky, but I'll give you my gift as well, Orochimaru said. His head went flying toward Sasuke's twitching body, easily biting his neck. Come to me for true power. With that done, the man retracted his neck before turning toward Sakura. The girl had a horrified look on her face, but she still had enough willpower to pull up her sword. The blade shook heavily as Sakura trembled in fear. You are brave, but not even worth my time, the man said coldly as he completely ignored the girl as his snake went sailing off through the forest with him. The two disappeared into the distance before the girl fell down to her knees. We were no match, she said, staring down at her hands. I was useless again, Sakura shouted as she punched the ground in frustration. I, I can't give up now, we can get attacked out here. I have to get them to safety. Sakura shakingly stood up, some fight still in her heart, as she knew she had to protect the two until they woke up. Unbeknownst to the girl, she was being watched. Everything went according to plan. Kabuto said with a smirk as he pushed up his glasses. Let's see what you'll do, Sakura Haruno. Thank you all for indulging yourselves in the story thus far. Hope you enjoyed it. Now there are a few more things I'd like to go over before the video ends. Firstly, we've got a primary channel called We The Celestials. We The Celestials is what we do here already, but their content center around the crazy world and lore of My Hero Academia. So please check us out over there if you're feeling in the mood for roller coaster or quirky content. We also have another relative to our channel, Anime Deep Dive. Anime Deep Dive goes deep into the facts and lore of a wide variety of anime. It's sure to expand your weave knowledge for all kinds of series guaranteed. I'd like to let you know, on behalf of We The Celestials, I'd like to thank everyone involved in the production of today's awesome content. Their details will be in the description below. If you're perhaps interested in what we do here at WTC, then I would like to extend out an invitation to join the team. The only caveat being we only accept members 16 and older to join our crew. You can find us on our Discord, which you can locate in the description below. Our Discord is an all-around fantastic place to be. Whether you're a friend, or looking to join our band of misfits, all you gotta do is hit up the recruitment server and sign up for whichever category of work fulfills your interest. We're always looking for members to join us. Well then, that is it from us for today's video. So I thank you for watching, and have a phenomenal day.